back on it since it fell off. Good. So, here's how we're going to graph, all right? Now, like I said, I'm going to start with the most basic and elementary process for you so you guys can see how to do this. Now, this will work for all your inequalities, all right? Now, this inequality is going to be in our one dimension. We're only going to be dealing with the x-axis. We've previously worked on problems where we had the x and the y-axis, right? And that was when we were solving equations. Well, now we're going to practice starting inequalities. So remember, when we're graphing inequalities, one important thing that we need to understand is what the symbols represent. The symbol up here, remember, as I read this, this says x is greater than or equal to negative 5. All right? So when I want to graph this, what I'm going to do is I need to pick, uh, I need to pick at least the first value that we're going to work with. And since it says x is greater than or equal, or equal to negative 5, I'm going to go ahead and pick negative 5. And I'm going to make a nice big circle. All right? Now, once you guys get used to this, you'll start noticing a lot of tricks and tips and shortcuts. I'm just going to go through the kind of the slow method so you guys can see exactly a foolproof method to make sure you're doing it correctly. So we have um, negative 5. That's your starting point. Then what I'd like you to do is choose a point to the left and to the right of your main point. And what these, are, what these points are, are what we're going to call our test points. Okay? It doesn't matter where these points are. You can pick any point. You can pick negative 10 and positive 10. It doesn't matter which point. It's kind of like when you guys are creating a table of values. So now what you're going to do is you're going to plug in. So these are what you call your test points. Okay, so now I'll say negative 6 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Negative 5 is greater than or equal to negative 5. And negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Okay? Does everybody see how what I did was I took each one of those points and I plugged them in for x? <coughs> Ivy, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say it out loud and see which statement is true or false, just like our warm up. S negative 6, is that greater than or equal to negative 5? All right? And that is going to be false. Therefore, if it's false, we do not shade it in. Okay, we're going to leave it open. Then look over here. Negative 5 is greater than or equal to negative 5. Well, obviously it's equal to, right? So we're going to shade it in. And the last one, negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 5. And that is true. So therefore, I'm going to shade this in. Now, we need to determine, well, how am I going to graph, right? Remember when we were graphing equations, we had like lines and arrows? So what we want to do is we want to continue, we want to make a line where all the true statements are. So what I'll do is I'm going to shade a line going in the right direction. The reason why I'm going to the right, my left, your right, is because these points are all true. And you can say, well, so you always want to draw your line towards your true statement, the, away from your false statement. All right? And let's just go and take a look at it, see if it, see if this makes sense. So it says x is greater than negative 5. So look, let's look at all these numbers that I, that I put. Are all these numbers greater than negative 5? Is 2 greater than negative 5? Yes. Yep. Is 1? Yes. yes. 0? Yep. So all these numbers going all the way to infinity are all going to be greater than or equal to negative 5. Make sense? And since it was equal to 5, that's why you shade in the big dot. So find it. All right, there you go. Swag. Swag. There you go. You, you got your highlights. You got you're you're famous now. You got I know. 